Oxfam in Nigeria, together with other civil society groups, have blamed the extreme poverty in Nigeria on high-level corruption in the system. They argue that a society that allocates 18% of its entire 2024 budget to tax incentives to corporate entities is not serious in addressing economic inequalities in the country. Today, as business elites gather in the Swiss resort town of Davos, Oxfam Nigeria, together with other civil society groups, have condemned the disparity in wealth between the rich and the poor in the country. According to the recent Oxfam Annual Inequality Report, Africa's seven richest men own more wealth, amounting to $52 billion, than the 700 million people who make up the poorest of half of the continent. The country director, Tijani Hamza Ahmed, made this breakdown while blaming the political leadership for prioritizing providing economic advantages to the super-rich through tax exemptions while the struggling to provide crucial basic necessities of life to the poor and indigent in the society. In December 2023, we understood the Nigeria Investment Promotion Commission said it approved tax holidays for 34 companies seeking tax incentives and waivers under the International Development Income Tax Act of 2023. Among the beneficiaries are, of course, the usual suspects. Note that these companies enjoy these tax breaks under the pioneer status regime in a bid to incentivize and stimulate those companies to a three to five year arrangement of not paying corporate income tax, which has over the years culminated to about five trillion naira and 18.519% of the 2024 federal government of Nigeria's budget. Other civil society groups present also took a swipe at the country's leadership, blaming them for lacking the political will to deal with the fundamental cause of poverty. The absence of um, uh, proper taxation system in the country uh, is also one of the very reasons why the government is losing a lot of money. You will agree with me this, this fraudulent uh, tax holiday that they do give to corporate you know, agencies. If only they are using uh, that money, they would have been able to address some fundamental developmental challenges that we have in Nigeria. There's no reason why, because you have interest in the company, because you have interest in any company, you will go and give five-year tax holiday. And there is no monitoring of the commitment that is supposed to come along with it, which is to say that if we give you tax holiday for five years, you should use the social corporate responsibility to help in terms of implementing education, health care system, and infrastructure. Nobody monitor whatever uh, those corporate agencies or entities or companies are doing with that. So we are losing a huge amount of money simply because of corruption. Today, we're dealing with a few people who is capturing the state and also might lead to anarchy. Because if inequality persists, what would they have is anarchy. Today, the Nigerian people cannot enjoy service delivery or social amenities. Over 5 trillion naira was given as tax level. This is un unacceptable. While the federal government is saying they cannot meet budget demand, and we're going to borrow, knowing that Nigeria is currently carrying a debt burden, and yet we're giving tax incentive for people who are profiting in billions of dollars within our economy. No, this is unacceptable. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.